South East Arachnid Show.
one big arboreal spider, isn't it? Yeah. You know that baby you just picked up? Yeah. That's the that's what it looks like when it's grown up. Oh god. Beautiful. Stunning. If I had good experience I may get one, but yeah, not at the moment. I know, but it, look how big it is. But it's a girl one as well. That's because it's rare. <laughs> very very busy um, over three rooms as well which was which was kind of good in a way um, can you imagine if it had been all in one room it would have been just chaos um, so we didn't get there until a little bit later than I planned um, we didn't get there till about one ish so I did miss a couple of people which is a shame that I wanted to see um, but we did meet up with um, Sam from Bug Realms and Kelly from Critters and Creations. Um, really lovely to see them. I wore my Bug Realms t-shirt. Um, and we did a little swap. So I, we'd already arranged it. I'd given him some um, Domino cockroaches and he gave me some um, Dairy Cow Isopods, which I really, really wanted. So that was really good. Um, and then we, uh, I also met up with um, Jaden from Mr. Grinder's Creatures and met Craig for the first time from um, Couchlock Arachnophobe. Is it Couchlock Arachnophobic? Yeah, that one. I might have to put it down here. Um, really nice guys. Um, oh, Jaden, your little girls are so cute. Uh, his lovely partner. Um, yeah, we had a group photo, so that was nice. Yeah, really nice. Um, not met Jaden or Craig before. Talked talk to them online and on YouTube, but yeah, not met before. Um, and then I met the legendary Peter Webster for the first time. Gave him a hug, that was really nice. Um, he gave me one of his uh, little pocket knife things, so that was really generous. Thank you, Peter. It was really lovely to meet you and your wife. Um, who else did we meet? Oh, yeah, then um, I was looking around for Kieran at from Alternative Inverts and his wife Rachel for ages, finally bumped into them, had a really lovely conversation, um, so that was lovely, really lovely to see you Kieran and Rachel, happy birthday by the way for next week, and um, sorry crickets are dis distracting me, um, who else did we meet up with, oh, um, we briefly met Greg from um, Eight Legs Four Wheels and his lovely wife, um, Really nice to see them. Um, I had a, a little chat with Ian Tarantulas and he forgives me for the hot sauce challenge. 
He said, I've got a bone to pick with you. And I thought, oh no. Um, I saw Tony Webb right at the end because he was really busy the whole time. So I just went, popped and said a quick hello to him at the end of the show when he was packing up. And um, nice to see Lee from the spider shop. Um, so yeah, yeah, loads of people and loads of things going on and wow, yeah. What else did you buy with your pocket money, Annie? What's this? Shiny. Four pound fifty. That's really good, considering how big and heavy it is. That's pretty large. So we met up with the lovely Peter Webster, who um, I've not actually met before, so that was really nice. Um, and he gave me one of his little pocket credit card knife thingies. So if you haven't seen them, they're um, you know really handy for opening mystery boxes and parcels and stuff like that. So um, I haven't quite worked out how you fold it, but I will. It will come to me. So that was that. Right, right. I just realised we were missing a bag here somewhere. Oh no. No, no, you've got it. Right. So that was that. And what else did we get, Annie? Mean? Hmm. I said to Annie, go and choose me a mug because I could really do with a new mug. And she chose me a snakey mug. I do love my slither butts. Look at that. That's really I'm gonna have my cup of tea in that tomorrow morning. Alright, so what else did we get? We got I'm doing this all upside down here. So from the cheeky mantis. Yeah. We got a I got myself a twig mantis. Uh, female apparently. So females get bigger, live longer, so it's all good, a bit like the teas really. Excellent. And I also got my friend, this is not for me, this is something that she wanted, a ghost mantis. Oh, not really see that there, no, that's not working. Oops. I'll do a proper thing in a minute. So that's for my friend Rebecca. Uh, what next? What next? So tarantulas online. We got. I know. <laughs> I I don't actually possess a brachypelma. Would you believe? Thought I did, and then it changed, didn't it? So I got this little one. Amori, baby. Are the Hamoris the ones that are notoriously slow growers? Drop it down in the comments because I can't remember which ones are medium growth or slow growth. It's, you know, I've got a head full of sand. Um, so I also managed to uh, tick off, so that was one off my wish list because I didn't have a bracket pound one. Also trying to collect um, some of the avicularias, so I managed to get an avicularia purple ray, Ecuador purple pink toe. There's a little fella just there, and actually, look at that! Look at that little setup. Well, you can see without disturbing it too much. I don't even have to rehouse it. 
that's that. And also from Tarantulas Online. I went a bit mad actually because they had so much stuff that I wanted. So. Um, I got something that, again, I haven't got but I have now. It's a little GBB, green bottle blue. Decent sized sling, so I'm pleased with that. Really pleased with that. Uh, also got another, just because I love them. I got another little baby blue fuzzy, a little carabiner, better colour. Probably about the same size as the one I've already got. But hopefully one of them be female, you never know. But I love them, absolutely love them. Um, I also got, now I've not heard of this one before so I'm going to have to research it, it's the Aviculera urticans, Aviculera urticans, which kind of looks like all the other baby Aviculerias that I've got with the sort of black and pink on them. So yeah, it's got a little web going on up in there. And I also got the last spider that I got is a Bumba Cabocla. Bumba Cabocla. Oh god, again, that's really hard to say. Which is in there somewhere. Where I don't know. The deep dark depths of the substrate. Oh, there you are. Again, we'll try and have a better look at that in a minute. And I also got, I did a little swapsies with um, Sam from Bug Realms. I gave him some Domino Roaches and he gave me, again, because I love them, I have to just think they're such the cutest little things. I've got some uh, giant oranges, but a few more species so hey we've got some dairy cows Yay! and they are big and fat dairy cows they've obviously been eating well and they're all gonna hide now hi they're the cutest little things i love them <laughs> we'll have another better look at those in a minute I should have got a few a few live feeders and things like that, but it was so busy I just didn't end up doing that. Um, so I also got one of these, which um, from the tarantula room. Um, met Emil, really nice guy. Uh, met Emil for the first time, and a lot of you probably know him. Um, and he gave me a really good discount on this, just because it's not quite. It's a bit shabby there, but hey, who cares? I just want to put it that side. I'll just put it this side. Um, not quite. I think I'm gonna. I may well put Ginny in this one, but I'm not absolutely sure. Ginny is my um, Davis Pentanora, so I'm not sure yet. But I'm gonna think about it. But yeah. Right. So we also got a 20-man mystery bag from Portsmouth Tarantulas. Do we see what's in it? Tweezers. 
That's all backwards, sorry guys. I'm actually sitting there at the moment. Petrinochilius cordatus. So that's really bad, sorry. Kilimanjaro mustard baboon. They're all baboons. They're all wild worlds. Yeah. <coughs> Which is. I don't really can see it. I see. Just there. Okay, I'm going to have to do my research on one of these. And this yep. one, before I disturb it. Mess or kind of big? That's a lot bigger than the other ones, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, see, I have a normal one of these, but it's a tiny baby that I haven't seen for months. So this is a near Holifelli Incy Gold, Trinidad Olive Gold. This is a little um, door sleeve. Yeah. I have the olive version of this, but the teeny tiny. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, research my baboons because I don't have any of those. So, coolio! Okay, I'm from there. Spider shop. Spider. Spider shop. We've got. Put this down. I'll put it down there. We've got. Just under that one there. I. Oh, do you know what? Oh, let's put it on here anyway. That's handy. So I've got an African flower mantis. Diddy, diddy, diddy. I don't know if you can see it. I'll take some better shots in a minute. Diddy. One in there. It's a uh, Galanthias ammonia. 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 Ina. Look that. Cool. And what did you spend all day doing? Looking at. Shiny things. Shiny things. So, Annie just spent the whole afternoon looking at sparkly things and shiny things. And eventually, I said, Are we actually going to get you an animal? So, this is what we came up with. This is what you wanted. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Look at that. Big fellows also in the spider shop. Yeah. Wanna hold it? Yeah. Yeah. He's, I'll tell you what though, the legs are a bit more bristly than the other ones. Yeah, I know. And they kind of be. Sorry, darling. Yeah. They kind of carry on. Yeah. <laughs> just having a nose. <laughs> I don't know, there is a way to check, which I can't remember which one's the male and which one's the female, if they've got a gap. So many legs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hold back both hands out? Honey? Just in case it goes. What 
yeah, we'll do a proper video on him when we rehouse him and do a proper, have a proper look at him. Hey! Oh, he's clinging on. Awesome. I love you. Yeah. His legs feel like little bristles, you know, like little brush bristles. Yeah. It's kind of weird. <laughs> right, let me just go wash your hands. Yeah. Here he is. <laughs> Hello. Um, so I also got just uh, I've got four of these. These are mainly for my um, praying mantis when they get a bit bigger. Um, just nice little size cups. I don't have any of that size. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got a few of those, and I got these were good. These big jars here. That's what used to be in it. Um, but again quite sure I'm you know I'll either put one of my boreal spiders in it or I'll put a, a, one of my larger mantises in it I have um, uh, a giant African mantis so that'd be a nice little home for it for a little while as well and I also got these pieces of cork bark well a pound each so why not you can never have enough cork bark can you another piece a bit bigger Got, yeah, three pieces, a bit of a thinner one. So yeah, that was my lot, and that was enough. <laughs> I did go with the list, um, and I did try and stick to my list just for a change. Um, and I don't think, apart from the millipede, I think I did actually stick to my list just for a change, which is amazing. Um, I'm sorry if I missed any of you. Um, as I said, I was a bit late, so and it was manic in there, so um, so I'm sorry about that. There was a few people that I wanted to see, but unfortunately didn't get to see. So um, so yeah, really good day though, and I'm really tired now. Um, I've got a couple of rehousings to do. I need to do a bit of research on these uh, mystery box um, tarantulas. I'm thinking. Um, definitely need to do a couple of rehousings. Um, some of the slings can stay in the pots that they came in, that's why. Um, so yeah, watch this space for the rehousings. 